G'day everyone, it's Scott from the Scale Model Supply here with a tutorial video on how to strip down your SMS Dragon Air airbrush for deep cleaning and maintenance. This airbrush here is the 0.3 sized airbrush. You can tell by the colour. The black is a 0.3 and the blue is a 0.2. In our range you can also buy the set needles and nozzle sets separately and switch them over in your airbrush to make them the size that you want. We've got 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0.5 available. So what you'll need, you'll need this special spanner that comes with this set which comes with the airbrush that's in your case and obviously your airbrush. So the first step we're going to do is pull out the, uh, take the, the rear section off here and pull out the needle. So normally this part doesn't need to be cleaned, so we can put that aside. So release the, the collet there just a little bit, and then gently just pull out your needle all the way. Now as you should know, needles are very, very fragile. You'll be careful not to bend that tip. If you do, you need to either sharpen it or replace it with a new needle. So we'll put that aside somewhere where it's not going to get damaged. And we'll take off the cup. We'll put that aside as well. And the next step we'll do is take out the trigger. So that's pretty easy to do. Well, what we'll do is we'll pull this section forward. And then from there we can just, they'll just pop out like so. You've got the, the, uh, the trigger itself and the lever. The next part we'll do is we'll remove... Um, there's a see the trigger that's inside there. That's the trigger for the um, to trigger the airflow valves that are in this part. If you're doing a deep clean, it is ideal to remove this whole section here, which is a matter of just undoing it with your fingers. If it's a bit tight, just get a pair of pliers or something just on the thread just to crack it a little bit so you can get it with your finger. So we'll come back to that part in a second. Um, and then from this, all we can do is just tip it upside down and out pops the, um, the little part there. Be very careful not to lose that. Sometimes you get paint coming back through um, by accident or falling, falls into there and actually gunk up this part here, which is why we're going to pull this apart to clean it if we need to. From there, we can now pull out this back section here using... Our spanner tool, we'll get this, the big section at the end here, we'll just slip that over the end and we just pop it off, just hit it and crack it enough so to pop, crack the thread and then just pull it out by hand. Now, the last little bit there is just take the front off, so we take off the, uh, the nozzle guard then we can take off the actual inner nozzle guard part like so and then we're left with the nozzle itself. So what we're going to be doing now is we'll crack this off with uh, that section there of the spanner. And then we can just pop it off enough so it turns and then use your fingers just to do the rest. Don't lose that part. And as with the needle, it's very fragile. The last part we can do, if needed, we can strip this part down further too. And to do that is simple as pulling, just pull that forward, undo the collet part there, and then just pop it out the other end. And be careful of the spring. You don't want to lose that spring because it is integral to how the lever action works on the airbrush. So that's a full strip down. What we're going to do now is come back in a second and we'll do the opposite and put it back together. Okay, now to put it all back together, it's pretty much the opposite. So what we're going to do to start off with though, is we're going to start off with the air valve section. So we need to, we want to put this in first. So it's a matter of just screwing it in. Until it's tight. And then... We need to put in our small, whoop, the small trigger piece. So it's a matter of just dropping it into into there, like so. And then what you can do is 
use something um, to push it back down into there, which will easily be just the trigger. Um, we can just push that in, just make sure it's seated properly for later on. Now that that's back in, we'll put this section back together. It's a matter of pushing it back in there, just putting the collet on the other end, just a little bit, and then that's back together. Then we can thread that back into the rear end of the airbrush, and again, we'll just tighten that with our spanner. Now the next thing we want to do is put on back the, uh, the front nozzle. Now this is a very important section. Again, you don't want to over tighten this because it will break, uh, but at the same time it needs to be very, very tight. There's no actual o-ring between the nozzle and the airbrush. Um, so it's that because it's that precision made. So what you want to do is just keep threading it until it doesn't go any further and then just a little bit extra. And that just helps it seat it nice and flush and prevents any air, airflow leaks at the front. So if you don't do that up tightly, um, what's going to happen is you push the air, air won't come through through the front. So paint won't come through the front, it will come through the side and no, nothing will come through but air. So um, if you ever find that's a problem, or once you put it all back together and you can't get any paint out but you get air out, just make sure to check that front nozzle there is done up tightly. Now that that's in, we'll protect the uh, the nozzle itself by putting back on the, the, the nozzle guards at the front there because we don't want to drop it and knock it or damage the nozzle because that's very fragile. Then we want to put in the trigger and lever. So trigger just pops in, pops straight in. The ball, the ball on the end of the trigger goes into where that pin is there. Make sure too that this hollow section is pointing towards the front. It can only go in one way. Um, and then finally, you want to pull this out and hold it so it doesn't move. And then with the cutout section going inwards, just want to drop that in there. And align it like so, so the little cutout in the top matches the trigger. And then we'll just slide, just let go of that. That'll hold all that in place. Trigger's moving nicely. Now with our needle, what you want to do is very carefully line up the, the back hole there and just slide it in. You'll feel a little tiny bit of resistance, but not much. If you get stuck and you can't push it any further, don't force it. It's obviously something not lined up. You want to push it all the way to the end. Now I can feel that that's right at the end. And then I'll just tighten that up and then we'll just make sure that the movement's all there. And then we'll put on the back cover like so. And then we can put in our paint cup back on. So then one final check, we'll just plug it in to the air and make sure that the airflow is working, which it is. So there you go. That's how you completely strip down and reassemble your SMS Dragonair airbrush.